Lastly, you would want to preheat your oven and line a loaf pan with some parchment paper. Then in a small bowl, you would want to mix together your brown sugar and cinnamon. To create vegan buttermilk, you would want to add milk and some vinegar in a cup and mix that together and let it sit for around 5 minutes to curdle. To create the streusel topping, you would want to add your brown sugar, your flour, butter and cinnamon in a bowl and it's best to mix everything together by hand until it resembles coarse sand with a couple of lumps. Then in a medium sized bowl you would want to add your flour, your sugar, your baking powder, baking soda and salt and give that a whisk so that everything is combined. Then in a larger bowl you would want to add your oil, your vanilla extract and your vegan buttermilk mixture and mix everything together until it's combined. Then you want to add your dry mixture into the wet and gently stir and then fold everything together and make sure you don't over mix so if you still see some lumps that is totally okay. Once it's all combined you would want to add half of the batter into the loaf pan and slightly spread it evenly out and then you would want to sprinkle the cinnamon sugar mixture on top and then you would want to top it off with the rest of the batter and spread that out evenly. And don't forget to add the streusel topping and once everything is covered you'd want to slightly press it down so that it sticks to the batter. Then you would want to place it in the oven and let it sit for around 35 to 45 minutes. When taking it out of the oven you would want to let it sit in the loaf pan for around 5 minutes before taking it out and leaving it to cool completely. This cinnamon loaf is really good, it's delicious, it's not too sweet, so if you don't have an overly sweet tooth, this is perfect for you and this was gone within two days. My family loved it and friends loved it and this is just a must try.